Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kara Dunaway and I am so excited to have you here. For today's video, I'm coming at you guys with a few more new products that I'm gonna try out today. I hope by now you guys realize that when I say new products, that they aren't necessarily new to everybody else, but they are new to me. They are products that I've never tried out before and have wanted to. So I'm really excited um, to try these products out and I hope you guys will stick around. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit the like button, comment, do all the good stuff, and let's just go ahead and get into it. So one of these products is actually brand new to the market. So one thing I picked up that I want to try out is this bronzer stick from Rare Beauty. I picked mine up in the shade Happy Soul, and I love testing out new bronzers, new bronzer sticks, new contour sticks, anything like that. So I'm really excited to try this out. The next thing I have to try out is this mascara from Bite Beauty. I've heard nothing but great things about this mascara. I just picked up the little mini version because it was just right at the front of the store as I was checking out and I've been wanting to try it. So I picked it up and it was funny because as I was purchasing it, the girl who was checking me out told me that this is the best mascara that they sell. So I have very high hopes for this. The Third thing that I'm going to be trying out today, I'm really late to the game on, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Again, I just picked up the small size because this stuff is expensive, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanted to just go with the small to start. They also didn't have what shade I thought would fit best for me, like in the full size products. So I just picked up this little guy and just wanted to test it out and if I, am in love with it like everyone else's, I will go back and purchase the full size. So those are the new things I have to try out. Everything else you guys have probably seen before, but I'm gonna go in and start with the face today. So I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter just all over the face as my primer. I picked mine up in the shade 3 Fair. I'm just gonna take a brush and just blend this all into the face. As you guys can tell, it's already like super glowy on my skin. And it's probably a little bit of a dark shade for me, but hopefully once we apply the foundation on top of it, it doesn't matter. Holy smokes, that's super glowy. If you had the perfect shade, you could probably just wear this all over the face on its own just for a really glowy, dewy look and it would look really pretty. But I'm gonna go in and put some foundation on top of it. I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one's in the shade Light, and it probably is even a little bit dark for me, at least during the winter time. When summer hits, it's a little bit better of a match, but it's actually not too bad, just a little bit dark. But I love this foundation. I'm gonna make sure to try to run this down the neck a little bit so it doesn't look so off. Okay, that's really pretty. I really like that under foundation. As you can tell, it's giving me glow. It's giving me a nice hydrated look. I'm really curious. I should have tried my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation on top because that one's more of a matte finish and I love that product so much. And I'd be really curious to put this underneath and see how that looks. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to use something that I haven't necessarily used for a long time, if ever, on my channel. And this is such a great foundation, so definitely check this one out if you have not already. Real quick, I'm going to go in and throw on some concealer, just my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this concealer so much. I feel like with this NARS concealer, I can put more on and it's not going to look really heavy. It still feels really light and hydrating on the face and under eyes. With some of my other concealers, if I put too much, then it just looks really, really heavy. And you can definitely tell I have a ton of concealer on my under eyes. But this one, it doesn't do that. I can put more than I normally would and it still gives a really nice, beautiful light finish. I'm gonna go in and set that with my number seven powder. All right, let's go in and try the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. I'm really excited to try this, and 
I just want to let you guys know, I have been working on my contouring, especially my nose contour, a lot. And I think it's getting a little bit better. Before I know it was really messy. But this is like super creamy. I just like was so smooth to apply. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on for my nose contour. So what I've been doing is I've been taking a little angled brush like this, and I've just been dipping it into my cream or liquid product. And I've been trying to be more careful about my placement of these products. And I'm starting at my brow and then just kind of bringing it down just the side of the nose. And then just kind of bringing them in kind of at the bottom, at the tip of the nose. And then I like to take some on the point of the nose and then just a little bit across there. So obviously I've never used this product before. I'm gonna see how it blends out. I'm gonna start by just tapping right where I placed that product and just lightly going back and forth. Then you can see as it blends, it's looking really nice and smooth and just more natural. Ooh, I really like this bronzer stick. I like the shade. I like how it blends so far. Always gotta get the hair out of the way. Before I go into the nose, I like to just take my foundation brush and just kind of lightly tap over the edges. Okay, now for the nose, I'm gonna take a clean angled brush like the other one, and I'm gonna start here, and I'm just blending this down and to the sides a little bit. And I'll also take it at the top and kind of just blend it up into the brows. I know I'm not the best at nose contour, so don't judge me. I'm practicing, I'm working on it. Just gonna kind of try to blend out here. Then I'll take my concealer brush and just try to clean up a little bit between the brows. Then what I've also been doing is a little while ago, I picked up this from NYX. This is the Wonder Stick and it's a highlight and contour stick. Here's the contour side. I don't love the contour side as much. I've more so been using the highlight side, which is this bright shade here. And what I've been doing is, you see how it's kind of like pointed there? Hopefully you can see. It's pointed on the side there. What I like to do is take that just from between my brows and just straight down, that wasn't very straight, but. I just take it down like so, and then I'll just blend that out with my finger. And then it just kind of gives the effect of a little bit slimmer nose here in the front. Like I said, I obviously am not a pro. I have a lot of work I still need to do on the nose and face contour, but I feel like it looks a little bit better than it has in the past. So I'm gonna keep practicing that and hopefully I will become a pro. I'm gonna add on a little bit of liquid blush. I'm gonna use this from Danessa Myricks. This is the Vision Flush in the shade Bread and Butter. I used this in my last video and I really liked it. So I'm just going to use it as blush today. I definitely put on more today than I did last time. So I need to blend it out a little bit better. I'm going to skip out on the liquid highlight today because we got the glowy primer and I want to put on a powder highlight just by itself. So I just wanted to do a quick, easy eye look today. So I'm gonna revisit my Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. This one's in the shade Golden Bronze. This product is so good just for, a, like I said, a quick and easy eyeshadow look. 
I'm just gonna do one eye at a time and I'm just gonna blend out the edges with a blending brush. This shade though is so pretty. And once these dry down, like they don't move. They stay in place. I wanna go in and add a wing real quick. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen and just add a quick wing on there. Well, so the wings, man, I just, one of these days, I'm going to get them. This side, I feel like looks great. This one, I feel like they don't match. When I'm looking in the camera, I feel like they look horribly off. When I look in my mirror over here, I feel like they look pretty similar. So whatever. I mean, like it is what it is, but so frustrating i mean i've told you guys this so many times that my eyes don't match this eye is a lot more droopy than this eye so it just makes things really difficult to get them to match and to do a wing on this side because i've got the overhanging crease that comes further out on this side so i don't know like maybe someday i'll have it figured out but whatever. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to run this eyeshadow stick just on the lower lashes just to add a little something there. I'm going to run a little smudgy brush over this. Then I'm going to pop a little eyeliner in the waterline. I'm going to use this one from Lottie London. This is the AM to PM retractable liner. It's just a black liner. All right, then on to the last and final product I'm going to try out today that's at least new to me, and that's the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. I've already gone in and curled my lashes. I don't know if I already showed you guys. Here is what the wand looks like. Just the hourglass shape that I love. And let's test her out. Every time. Got some mascara in there. Okay, so here is one eye with the mascara, one eye without the mascara. Just ignore the smudge of mascara there, but let me get close here. It's giving really nice volume and length. It's not the most like separating mascara on my lashes, but when I'm looking for volume, that's okay. Let me go on and do the other eye real quick. Okay, so this is just one coat of mascara on both eyes. I will say that the volume is there. It is definitely giving me volume. It is making my lashes look a little bit spidery, which I don't personally love. I could try to go in with another coat of mascara, but I think that would probably just make it worse. So I'm going to leave it. It's nice. I mean, it, like I said, it's giving nice volume. I do want to keep using it and try it out a little bit more. I'm not like 100% on board at this point, but yet I'm not disappointed at all. So yeah, that's one I definitely want to keep using and trying out, but so far it's a pretty good mascara. I'm going to do an easy brow day today. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. I'm just going to brush out the brows real quick, and then I'm just going to throw some of this in there just for something quick and easy. Let me know, do you guys have a side of your face that's just, that you like better, that's easier to put makeup on, whatever? Like, this brow is definitely better than this one, and this eye is definitely better than this one, so, like, am I the only one? Let me know, please. All right, I'm also going to revisit this bronzer from the brand Real Her. I just got this through Ipsy. 
and I definitely wanted to pull it out and try it again. I'm trying to not go as crazy with like the bronzer and blush as I normally do, even though I usually fail at going more light-handed. I really like this bronzer though, it's really nice. Blush, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this just since I went a little bit more heavy with the liquid blush. Then I'm also going to revisit my highlighter from the brand IBY. This is in the shade Maldives. I also received this in my January Ipsy bag and I didn't really get a great test on it since I had a liquid highlighter on. It didn't really give me the full picture on this highlighter, so I'm gonna use it just on its own. And really sad, but it broke. I have no idea how, but kind of a bummer. Okay, I just wanna take a little bit because we are already glowing. So pretty. I'm gonna just tap that in. Then I'm gonna add some here. And of course, under the brows. Pretty, I really like this highlighter. It's definitely a beaming, glowy highlighter. So again, everything I can only hope for in a highlighter. I'm gonna spray this all with the Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. For my lips, I'm gonna use the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Need Me. That is such the mouthful. The lipstick I'm gonna use is from Maybelline. This is one of their cream lipsticks in the shade Rosy Risk. Such a pretty shade. Then to top that off, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Moon. All right, well, here we are at the end of this video. I just wanted to let you guys know, I am super happy with picking up all three of these items. I loved everything. The mascara, like I said, was good. Was it my favorite mascara I've ever used? No, but give me some time to try it out and keep using it and I'm sure I will learn to love it. But everything else I used today, really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I hope you all have a fabulous day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.